CataractCoach.com, who is the ideal trifocal patient? In the U.S., that's the panoptics for the moment, and it can be great if you choose the right patients. So here's a patient, and this is a very small eye, and we've got a nice-looking caps rexus. The cataract was removed. This patient had a very significant cataract. That's an important thing. Putting this lens at a patient who is emotropic with no cataract is a challenge. But this patient, look at the lens part, 27 and a half diopters, and the patient has about two diopters of corneal astigmatism. So for this patient, the preop refractive error is nowhere near emetropia. This patient's highly hyperopic, has astigmatism. This patient is reliant on glasses all the time. And full-time glasses for this patient, progressive glasses or bifocal glasses, for the past many decades. So for this patient, number one, the patient had a cataract that was significant ahead of time, did not have a clear lens. So just clearing that visual axis is a huge help. Number two, the patient has a significant refractive error of hyperopia. So before cataract surgery, they're relying on glasses all the time. Even if we just put on a monofocal lens and hit Plano, this patient would have a huge improvement in vision. And to have the wider range that a trifocal will give you, this is this patient's dream. This patient would be very happy. So that's another thing is expectations. This patient has very reasonable expectations, easygoing personality. This patient is not expecting perfection because the truth is this lens is not a perfect solution for presbyopia. It's a good solution, not perfect. So we'll get that lens, put it in the caps or bag here, get it rotated around. A little bit of iris prolapse there. Take a look there at the incision. That's because of all that extra viscoelastic in the eye. It's a tiny eye. Look how humongous that six millimeter optic looks inside this eye. So we'll fix that iris prolapse by releasing that pressure gradient. Another important preoperative measurement for the patient is angle kappa, angle alpha. If you're not sure exactly what those mean, that's okay. We have a great video on Cataract Coach explaining it. So go to cataractcoach.com, use the search function, type in angle alpha, angle kappa. And preoperatively, this patient had very minimal angle alpha and angle kappa. That means we center up the lens in the patient's visual axis. It also lines up with the pupil centration. Everything looks really good. So removing viscoelastic from behind the lens here. So my take home points, who's the ideal trifocal eye candidate? Number one, ideally, you've got some sort of refractive error. You're not an emetrope. So this patient has preoperative hyperopia and astigmatism. Number two, the patient has a real cataract, not a clear lens extraction. Because then it's a larger delta for the before and after. You have much more improvement in the vision compared to what you had beforehand. Number three, the patient has very realistic expectations. The patient's not expecting perfection. The patient just wants to see a lot better, and the patient will. And the patient's also accepting of the nighttime glare and halos. Sometimes we tell the patients, no rings at night means no reading ability. You want to have the reading ability, you got to tolerate the rings at night. And by explaining that, they can remember that one simple saying. And then the last thing is, we were very careful to make sure about the angle alpha and angle kappa. And to this patient, they're both very reasonable. And then finally, you got to deliver a beautiful surgery. Get the lens in the capsule bag. you got to nail that refractive outcome very precisely. Get as close to Plano as possible. And then here, look at the centration of the lens, really lining up those Purkinje images in the center and getting the patient to a beautiful post-op result. So those are my indications. Who are the, uh, for a trivocal lens, who are the patients we have to watch out for? The low myopes. That patient comes into your office who's already a, a minus two myope with minimal cataract. And they say, I know my near vision's already great, just fix my far vision. And they don't quite get it. Another one to be very careful of is the Plano presbyope. This patient is Plano refraction, presbyopic, age 55, no real cataract, and wants a refractive lens exchange to get out of glasses. They may not be as appreciative. And then finally, don't forget about the patient with mixed astigmatism. If you don't know what I mean, you better check out that video called Choosing Refractive Targets. Thanks for watching. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more.
You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself. What's the name of those forceps?